In the next 5 minutes I will help you set up a basic stream in OBS Studio and by the end of this video you will be ready to press go live and start streaming with a webcam, your game, alerts, etc. Oh right, you will also get a free graphics spec but more on that later. Now before even launching OBS you want to right click it, go to properties, then go to advanced and enable run as administrator. This will prevent a bunch of possible issues. Then once you launched OBS go to tools, auto configuration wizard, select optimize for streaming, click next. As your base canvas resolution, select 1080p and then keep this at prefer 60 when possible. Now click next and then you will need to select your streaming platform. Now if you stream on Twitch or YouTube, you can just connect your account here. But if you stream on Facebook, you will need a stream key. To get your Facebook stream key, just create a new live. If you want to test things, then enable this and then click on create live video. Now click on streaming software here and then here you will be able to copy your stream key. After that, you can just go back to OBS and paste the key here. Now, no matter which platform you select, always make sure you enable estimate bitrate, click next, and then OBS will look for the best settings for your PC and your internet speed. Now, while this is happening, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Owned Pro. Owned Pro is a plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to install both free and premium graphic packs with one single click. Just go to the first link in my description, click join for free, and then go through the setup process. Once installed, you will find it under tools Owned Pro. Now, since Simply choose a layout you want, either one of the free ones on top or one of the many premium options you get when you subscribe and then with one click the complete package will get installed and you're done. Again the link will be in my description. And by now the setup has been finished, just click on apply settings and then now we can add our overlays, our webcam, our mic and our alerts. The first thing to look at are the scenes and sources here. To add a new scene you just click the plus icon, you give it a name like in game, then you click on ok and the scenes you create on the left act like folders that hold the sources in the middle. So when we select in game we can click on the plus icon in the sources then choose game capture, click on ok and then you'll need to change the mode to specific window and then select your game as the window here for example overwatch you click on ok and then you just right click the game capture go to transform fit to screen. Now to add your webcam here, simply add a video capture device and then choose your webcam here. And now you can just make this smaller and reposition it where you want. If you hold alt on your keyboard, you can cut off one of the sides here. This way you don't lose too much space of your game. Now to get the free graphics pack I mentioned, just go to my discord server. I will add the link in the description. And then on the left, you will see free stuff, neon overlay pack. Now click this Google Drive link. And then on the top right, click on the download button. Now go to your downloads, then unzip this folder, then go back to OBS Studio, click on the plus icon and choose image. Now click on browse here, go to where you unzip the folder, for me it's in the downloads, and then there's a bunch of graphics in here, for example webcam borders, and then webcam border without name. Then you just click on ok, rescale it, reposition it, and then you will just need to make your webcam fit the border by rescaling it, repositioning it, and cutting off sides with alt. By the way, also pay attention to the order of the sources here. If I drag my image below the webcam, then as you will see my webcam will overlay the graphic because these work like layers just like in Photoshop. All the graphics in this pack also come with Photoshop files and you can edit them for free with photopia.com. Now to add a stinger transition, click on this drop down, click on add stinger, just click on ok, then click on browse here, go to the neon pack we just downloaded to stinger and then open this file. Now change the transition point to 750 milliseconds, click on ok, and now when you change scenes on the left there will be a smooth stinger transition. Now before doing the alerts let's go to the settings here then to audio and make sure you add your microphone as your mic auxiliary device one. For me it's this one and as you see it's being added in the audio mixer. In here you can change the volume of your PC sound, your game etc, then of your microphone. Now to add your alerts the quickest way is going to streamlabs.com then logging in here on the top choosing your platform then on the left click on alert box and then copy your link here with this button. Now go back to OBS Studio, click on the plus icon, choose browser, call it alerts, click on ok and then replace this URL with the one we just copied. Now click on ok and all your alerts will appear within this red box. Let's quickly trigger a test event on the side, let's click on test follow and as you see the alerts are working. Now this playlist here contains all my in-depth OBS tutorials, things like adding the whole neon pack step by step, adding custom alerts, making your mic better, I really recommend checking the guides here and then improving your stream step by step. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.